Hey guys, welcome back. Just another look at this uh, power transformer for that uh, Zena 5S29 from the mid-1930s. Uh, when I left out again, I had already checked the uh, DC resistance. And you can see I've got it tagged here uh, accordingly. And uh, we'll pop the uh, bell covers off and see how the color coding matches the standard. So uh, center tap, a red-yellow, the two red leads. Um, this is going to be probably a green green or a brown brown and I don't have this one marked but uh, the uh, diameter wire appears to be, I mic'd it out just for uh, giggles, uh, this appears to be a 19 or 20 gauge and the same thing for the uh, stranded wire. Um, one thing interesting, uh, you can see a thicker insulation here and uh, this appears to be the uh, the 5 volt uh, winding according to my uh, documentation it feeds the filament of the uh, 5Y3GT rectifier tube and uh, this is the 6.3 volt uh, winding that uh, feeds the uh, heaters for the other tubes and the radios and again this will be the uh, primary input so um, what I noticed I had some uh, fraying of the wires um, you can see here. So what I'm thinking about doing, we'll pop this uh, bell cover off and see if this is wired back to a terminal inside the uh, transformer. Is it a direct winding into the transformer? In most cases there's enough room I can probably do some splicing inside the uh, bell covering housing and uh, just go from there. But we'll look at it. So, uh, again, this one right here is frayed, and not sure if this is showing up on camera, but down in here where it comes through, and there is a rubber grommet here on the back, but I'm still kind of concerned here as well. I just want to make sure that I don't have a short um, down the road. And these high voltage windings here, which again, let's see, I was looking at uh, uh, about 700 volts RMS. Uh, voltage according to my documentation so we'll give these a good check as well um, they're very very stiff due to the age and looks like one of them may starting to maybe starting to crack right in this area so uh, I tell you what let me uh, get the shop back out and uh, just kind of get some of the see all the dust on this thing just kind of get some of this debris moved so I'm not sucking it down my lungs and then uh, we'll pop this thing open and uh, give it a check and see what we've got here inside again the uh, power transformer tests good so that's uh, that's nice to know okay here's a closer look at those uh, wires coming through the uh, grommets here and um, actually they look pretty clean but they're just stiff as a board and uh, that's to be uh, expected as old as they are so uh, I still want to replace these um, up in the inside of the bell if I can uh, where it makes sense to do so some of them may be okay but uh, thing cleaned up pretty well you can see the old uh, dirty rags here after uh, taking the vacuum to it and getting the dust off and uh, there is some uh, surface rust here on the outside of the bell covers and uh, we'll strip this paint off and uh, de-rust this. Both covers and then uh, for the iron core side here I'll just uh, gently uh, scrape that and I think that's just real real light surface rust and that should come right off and uh, of course we can paint over that as well. So um, let's pop this thing open here and see what we've got. That fastener came out pretty easy. There, I don't want to get a wrench or something to hold this other side. That uh, nut is swiveling there. About ready to rip my finger open. It's probably just a little bit of rust there on the uh, fastener. 
not going to come off. I'm just holding it with a pair of uh, pliers. The inside of the bale here too has uh, got some rust on it for sure. Um, so I think I'll just uh, strip the paint off of these completely and then uh, de-rust after I do the uh, stripping. So I'll probably put that in some gel solution uh, this afternoon, get that process started. But uh, let's see what we've got here. Okay, this seems kind of odd. The standard wiring for um, Transformers for the primary side was black, and uh, these appear to be green, but they may just be with age, but it's kind of got a, a green hue to it. And uh, these are just appear to be black coming from the transformer. They could be like a dark green, can't really tell. You can definitely, uh, let's see, these should be my red and red yellow. You can see. the uh, filament here. So it looks like they didn't follow the standard uh, RMA uh, color coding for the uh, transformer itself. But I think I got room up in here for um, some of these wires and again I may not uh, do all of them but I think the leads were a little short on this transformer also. So um, I may go ahead and take advantage while I'm going to clean this thing up and uh, go ahead and just splice everything back up in here. Put some heat shrink on, run some new leads through and just make sure I've got, you know, 8 to 10 inches or so here. So when I do my lead dress and get the power transformer back in the radio, I'll be good to go. For this video, I just wanted to show this real quick. I'll go ahead and work all the magic off camera. We'll get this put in the uh, gel paint remover, both bell covers, and um, whatever remaining rust is there after doing the stripping of the paint. We'll take care of that and see if we can't get this thing cleaned up then I'll show some uh, still photos guys of my progress here. If I elect to go ahead and splice these conductors back up in this area up underneath the uh, cover. Okay guys, let me uh, get some uh, protective uh, gloves on here. And I'm going to just use the uh, stripping gel. I've used this uh, numerous times. Uh, works quick and uh, it's easy to uh, clean up here. So we'll give it a good shake. I'll do that uh, off camera. And then we'll start coating the uh, bell covers here. Just pour a little on and uh, then we'll uh, smear it in here with an old throwaway brush. And just let it work its magic. It shouldn't take long at all for this to uh, work. The paint is already in uh, pretty bad shape and again there's some rust here on the housings as well that we'll have to uh, clean up also. All right, we'll keep that nice and wet. Go ahead and continue uh, putting a few more coats on here, just to thicken it up. Okay, we'll wait about 15, 20 minutes and uh, see what we've got. And uh, we'll do a status check and I'll be right back. Okay, it's been about uh, 30 minutes and that's about the man time for this product to work. So uh, let's give uh, one of these pieces a check here. And uh, just for giggles, I'll use a little bit of uh, 
this uh, steel wool alternative and uh, see if any of the paint is uh, working its way loose at this time. Yeah, it looks like I'm starting to get just a bit of breakdown but uh, it's definitely going to need more time. Maybe 24 hours or so. That uh, paint's on there pretty good. So let me uh, clean up here. I'm going to stop this video and uh, we'll come back at a later time and uh, check on the progress.